Hey everybody, it's Mike from Exhale Wellness and Dietary Self-Defense here. So today I want to talk a little bit about plant sterols. And more importantly, how recently Canada and the United States have allowed food manufacturers to add plant sterols and make claims around plant sterols. Now plant sterol, for those of you who don't know, is a phytochemical or a phytonutrient that comes from plants and plant-based foods that can have a number of benefits ranging from lowering cholesterol, lowering risk of heart disease, lowering some cancer risks. It's an extremely healthy nutrient, micronutrient that goes into our diet. But there's a little bit of troubling information coming out that I just wanted to address. So when it was discovered that essential fatty acids or omega-3s were beneficial, omega-3s started popping up in everything from basal, margarine, eggs, um, drinks, started popping up in everything. But what time has shown us is that the omega-3s that are added to particular things aren't having the same benefits as omega-3s found naturally in food. Now with the plant sterols, what we're seeing is it's now in yogurt, drinks, uh, juice, margarines, everything. We're seeing it in everything again. And the claims are that having it in your food as as a additive is better than getting it naturally from the food. Now, there's a few interesting things around this. Number one is they'll isolate a particular uh, plant sterol. And they'll say this one here at uh, two grams is extremely beneficial and you only get it uh, for 25 milligrams in your food. Now, the problem with this is that number one, more is not always better. Sometimes more is just more. And they can show that as we accumulate higher levels of these plant sterols, we have health benefits. So right now, the best studies are saying about 0.8 grams, so 800 milligrams of plant sterols in your diet is the level where we're seeing some health benefits and some reduction in cholesterol seems to be about a 15 percent reduction <laughs> and then even in the Globe and Mail here in Canada we have a nutritionist there and I won't say her name um, because it makes me angry but <laughs> in her article she says you cannot get enough plant sterols in your diet because the average diet has 0.2 grams of plant sterols in their diet but 0.2 grams, there's more than that in one apple, in an ounce of peanuts, in an ounce of almonds, and a spoonful of sunflower seeds. That's easily attainable. It's easy to get 0.8 milligrams or 0.8 grams of plant sterols in your diet through actual food. Now here's the other thing, going back to the essential fatty acids and the omega-3s, is that when we isolate a piece, it is not better than the whole. A piece of broccoli, you know, we can think of as some protein, some carbohydrates, some fat, some water content. Those are your four macronutrients. But as well on top of that, it has thousands of phytochemicals and phytonutrients and things that we are not even beginning yet to discover. A hundred years ago, we didn't really even know about vitamins, minerals. So to claim that now we know everything about food is ridiculous. And what we're seeing time and time again, vitamin E, especially synthetic vitamin E, is causing problems. Vitamin E from food, absolutely necessary. We're seeing it all across the board. When we single, single out and isolate nutrients, it does not have the same effect. When you see these ads with plant sterols, can lower your cholesterol, eat this yogurt, eat these Cheerios, you're talking about a highly refined product full of sugar, full of fat, depending on the product, full of unpronounceable junk, and then it's supposed to lower your cholesterol because it has plant sterols. Here's a better idea. Just eat the plant-based source of it. Get rid of that other stuff. Yogurt, especially yogurt as it's made now, is loaded with sugar, is loaded with fat, and when yogurt has to come out and say, contains this special probiotic, that means it was added in and it's not really yogurt. Yogurt, real yogurt, is milk and, and probiotics and a bacterial culture. That's it. That's like Greek yogurt now. So when you see milk and it's milk product and 
sugar and high fructose corn syrup and this and that and this and this and then down here is the bacteria what are you really eating you're eating a yogurt like product stick to the whole food whole plant based source for phytosterols almonds sunflower seeds vegetables nuts legumes all that stuff is loaded with it get it from the source don't try to manipulate we take a whole food product we strip it down we add in a synthetic or stripped down version of a nutrient and then we expect it to be healthy stick to the whole food you'll be healthier you'll be happier you'll feel fuller you'll lose more weight benefits all across the board so I hope that helps uh, if you have any questions of course shoot me an email send me a comment uh, and I hope you all have a great day. Away.